Okay, this is already written as a sum. I mean, you can expand it if you want, but I, I think I'm just going to go with it. And what am I looking at? I'm looking at an integration, and I'm going to say the length of it's 3. I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to go to 3. All right, then what I'm seeing over here, looks like I'm looking at a root function, and the root function it looks like I'm looking at is 1 plus x dx. All right? Now, granted, I, I want to make sure that's the case by drawing a picture of that. And let's see, at zero, uh, that would be one. And then the thing's gonna like do something like this over here. And we're stopping at the number three. That's what we're doing over here. And you know, what, what's the function? I'm saying f of x is equal to the root of one plus x. Let's write a Riemann sum down. I'm gonna divide an equal part, right end point, And it's gonna be uh, the root of, you know, I'm gonna put the f down because I, I don't wanna keep writing that root down can be f of, well, what do you do? You're going to move over 3 over n. What's the next one going to be? 3 over n, f of, well, you're moving over now 6 over n. All right? Again, this would be 3 over n here. The next rectangle, this would be 6 over n. We're just moving over 3 over n each time. Now, the question is, is what, we're, what we want to get and um, that does appear to be what we want to get. So we got the integration done, and that's our question. Put a box on it. The question is, can we integrate that? And I'm going to say, yes, you can. I'm going to write a little differently, though. I'm going to use u substitution right now. I'm going to say u equals uh, 1 plus x, and that means du would be equal to dx. Let's write this down. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, if x is 0, I'd be starting at 1, and if x is 3, I'd be stopping at 4, all right? And again, we're in the land of u's now. What do you get over here? This would be u to the 1 half power. And then you're going to get, well, it's just du. Now, granted, um, I'm going to start to erase things over here. Just give me a second to do so. And what I want to do is um, I want to go back to the land of x's, by the way. I'm going to start to erase this over here. And I'll write this down as equal to 1 to 4 x to the 1 half dx. All right? Can I integrate that? Yes. Add 1 to the exponent. That's 3 halves. Divide by the exponent, which is 3 halves, or multiply by 2 thirds. This goes from 1 to 4. I'm going to do my evaluation now. What do you get? 2 thirds. That's going to be the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. And then when you cube 2, you get 8 minus two-thirds. Well, you take the square root of one, you get one, and cube it, you still get one. So what do you get over here? Sixteen-thirds minus two-thirds, which is fourteen-thirds. By the way, the integrations, generally speaking, are easier to do than the summations. So let's see um, if that's written down. Yeah, I'm seeing the fourteen-thirds over here. Before I do that, though, I want to make sure I see these integrations written over here. So let's see. Um, I see that right over here. And let me see, make sure I'm saying that. 0 to 3. Uh, one, Yeah, I'm seeing that one. And 1 to 4, the root of x dx, and that's written over here. We're good to go to the next question. Thank you.